All right, everyone. It is me, Judson Chan, and uh, yeah, I feel pretty good. Um, I don't know. Just been a little stressed off with programming. I still want to keep coding and learning more through the tutorial, but I think my brain is kind of like at limit. So you know, I was able to scale back a bit and just listen to <laughs> some more Jesse Lee Peterson stuff. Uh, I can't even remember. I can't even remember now because I thought I had it all planned out, but then uh, now I'm drawing a kind of blank. But yeah, he was just basically answering a lot of people's uh, questions about the problems they were having. Like there was a single mom that called in, and then he's like, what do I do? I don't want to ruin my kid, but... Uh, oh yeah, but the husband is, you know, the guy that I slept with, you know, that I had the kid with, you know, was cheating on me, blah, blah, blah and now I'm angry or something like that. Uh, but long story short, she actually, uh, was told, oh, okay, yeah, what I'm doing is bad, I'm ruining this man's life because I'm angry at him, uh, also I'm ruining, and I'm also ruining the kid, so I'm using the kid and ruining his life to get back at the man for, you know, being, you know, uh, his little sinful ways, so like, oh, okay, I, I better not do that, right, so, well, it was actually kind of nice, because I've always had, like, a kind of, like not very thrilling point of view about single moms simply because like for some reason their kids always come out messed up which makes sense because like you know the dad's not there so you know so so that dysfunction between man and woman and mother and father and the parent and parent obviously passes directly on to the kid and then i have to deal with it right you know my ex-best friend the guy who's now an avowed atheist who's also a piece of shit you know, uh, his dad was, you know, kind of like a piece of crap, uh, you know, and abandoned him for some reason. But, you know, to be honest, like, the dad's still trying to contact him. At least, you know, last time we talked about before, you know, the Trump election and then, you know, didn't hear from him ever again. Um, whatchamacallit. Uh, he, uh, yeah, so the, so his dad tried contacting my ex-best friend, so I know they're still in contact, and then, you know, there was this, and then I'm confusing, and then there was this other thing where, like, you know, wicked women who just take away the kids from the man or the father is also being wicked and evil, right, and causing a lot of problems. So that's usually why I, you know, have a very negative point of view about single moms. But that being said, I have met some, I guess, now single moms that actually seem pretty reasonable, right? You know, uh, one girl who I think definitely wants to sleep with me, and it's kind of tempting to just, I mean, it's hard to resist it, right? But, you know, I, I just try not to uh, call her because I know, because I know I'm just going to, like, straight up ask, you know, it's like, hey, you want to come over to my place, you know? Because I don't think she really watches my videos. And this is from my movie, so a long time ago. And, uh, yeah, well, I'll just leave it at that, but... Yeah, you know, one, one thing will very quickly lead to another, and I can definitely tell that she definitely uh, wants to sleep with me, but I don't want to get into the details. So it's, um, I forgot. Oh, yeah, so she's a single mom. She's got, like, two daughters, right? You know, um, yeah, she, she actually came out fine. In fact, she's probably a lot better than some of, like, the non-single moms that I run into. Uh, but with that being said, you know, it's like, yeah. And, of course, if you're... You know a reader of Hartisti, right you know before he became like this hardcore angry hateful uh wig net essentially oh this is actually pretty good um whatchamacallit uh yeah now i forgot i forgot where was i going with this but yeah oh yeah if you read Hartisti, then obviously he obviously doesn't like single moms the thunder daily folks also hate single moms so it's like yeah, it's like, yeah, I can definitely begin to see why Jesse Lee Peterson's, like, point of view is, like, just so much better than everything else. It's like, yeah, I mean, yeah, because now it's starting to make more sense. Like, yeah, it's obviously bad, right? Everything we do is obviously bad because us human beings, we're all naturally just bad people, right? That's why that's the whole thing about sin and we're all condemned. But, you know, God was like, you know what, that's still pretty cruel. So let me send, you know, Jesus Christ to die for their sins so that, like, you know, maybe there's a chance of redemption for everybody, right? Because that's, that's what matters is, like, you try, you have a chance at life. You know, that's why things are different now than, say, I guess, you know, way back then. That's why God always had to resort to just blowing everything up, right? You know, and it culminates in the, uh, uh, the, the Noah Ark's Great Flood or whatever that thing is called. 
which has a scientific uh, proof. Like, you know, scientists say a great flood did occur throughout the whole world that did that would actually wipe everything out. I think, I think they said it was like 10,000, 12,000 years ago or something like that. So, you know, and obviously I think time actually does pass differently. And then uh, the way I look at it is God must have intervened about 6,000 years ago or 7,000 7, years ago. And that's probably what was Mo what Moses was writing about when he first started writing, you know, uh, uh, the Bible. Right? Since it's generally accepted that the very first chapters, the first five specifically, of the Old Testament was written by Moses himself. You know, the, the one with the Ten Commandments movie where he just throws the Ten Commandments and you see that that very famous scene with a crack in the hole and everyone falls in or something like that. Because they started worshipping the golden calf or something like that. Yeah, so uh, God, so when God wiped off the whole world, he's like, you know what, I don't think I want to do this anymore. And yeah, because he probably figured out, hey, this doesn't seem to work. The, the sin still keeps occurring. It's like, okay, so Adam and Eve eventually screwed all this up. So now I got to figure out there's got to be a different way to, you know, uh, solve the sin problem, right? Because it seems like it'll just never go away. No matter how much, even if I eradicate it from the earth, you know, it just comes back. It's kind of like weeds, right? No matter how many of them you pull out, in fact, you could kill all the weeds in your like soil or garden, they still grow back. And so it's like, you know, we need a different solution and probably a more peaceful solution too. Right? Well, at least when dealing with humans, you know, in spirituality. So anyway, uh, so that was actually kind of nice. So like, because basically I'm looking for some alternatives, especially now that once I make my game, it, the lore is based on my Dream TV series, but now that I find that I might actually be using that first before I do all the other stuff, well, I want the story to be as good and Christian as humanly possible. It still, you know, has mass appeal and makes sense. So that, that's why I have to look into it more. Because uh, basically, if I want to tell a good story just so the game kind of makes sense, right? Because I because I have to do the copyright, I have to do the patents, I have to write the actual story out, the treatments and all that stuff. You know, I'll be back, basically I'll be going back to my movie making uh, days from like what eight nine years ago, right? So that'll be kind of nice to you know access those good old creative uh, things. And I've been working on the script all this time for like you know ever since I got that spark of inspiration. So I guess around actually it was even before I became like you know a born again Christian. It was like in the mid two thousands. I've always wanted it, and now and now that I'm older and I really look back at it. Yeah, I know where it all started. It started when I actually watched Star Wars, right? Because uh, I can actually break down exactly why Star Wars is what it is. And then for some reason, Hollywood doesn't want to do that. But I used to think it was because they did not know how to do it. I'm actually now of the belief that they do not want to do it because it would go against their degenerate evil agenda. Because right? you can't have everyone becoming Luke Skywalker. Uh, I guess in a way, you can't even have people become, you know... Uh, Leia, right? Because if you actually look at the deleted scenes of Leia from like the original Star Wars trilogy, not the original. God, now there's two original trilogies. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, it is still called the original trilogy. Yeah, what am I thinking? I, I was I was thinking the prequel trilogy will be called the original trilogy. No, 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 no. The original 1977 trilogies, right? If you actually if you actually look at the deleted scenes, Leia is actually like. The strong, independent woman, but she still wants to look for love, and she actually winds up becoming, you know, a nice, you know, uh, feminine uh, uh, heroine, right? Hollywood doesn't want that, right? They can't have all their women who are jacked up on like, a, well, you're better than the man. Well, that's not what Leia became, right? You know, that's not who she was. So, you know, so yeah, there's there's a lot of anti-degenerate, uh, modern day degenerate uh, propaganda in the original Star Wars uh, movies. So they obviously will not, uh, they don't want to recreate that. Well, okay, fine, then I will, right? So, you know, tough luck for them. You know, I'll, I'll take all, I'll take all the money. And then Disney will probably sue, and then they'll fail because obviously my show obviously does have different mechanics, right? Because instead of the Force, I will have combat implants. Uh, and instead of lightsabers, you know, mine will have uh, katana swords because I could kind of, I just like the look of it, you know. So, and on top of that, I'm also just going to say Star Wars ripped off Asian culture, right? Because before Star Wars, Asian movies and shows had the exact same shit with the, like the, you know, we didn't call it force, I think we call it chi or something. So it's the same shit. So, that, you know, like Disney can fuck off, you know. So, anyway. 
Uh, we are up to, uh, what are we up to? Uh, thank you to the one person that uh, subscribed, or maybe it's the guy resubscribing or something. So we're up to 3.33. So uh, these things are piling up pretty nicely, you know, good old content. Uh, so Bitcoin's flattening out, still at 7, so the normies are still pretty far down here. Uh, so, so far, so good. Uh, cryptocurrency continues to skyrocket at a very nice pace, which means I shouldn't be using the word skyrocket. Um, Bitcoin is at 60, dominance is at 64.4%, so still pretty high up there. 24 hour volume is actually at a very close to the coin market cap all time high ish, right? 146.4 billion. So there's actually a lot going on here. All right. So, so the money's flowing into crypto, like everybody's rushing in and that's what we want. You know, we need more money coming in, even though, uh, yeah, I forgot to cite the thing, but basically a CNBC article said that some British scientists claimed to have found a actual potential cure for the uh, coronavirus. And then instead of seven to eight years uh, to find the cure, it'll only be 14 days, which we obviously know because the time difference is just too much, right? You're not, you're not farming 404 coins. So you're not having that kind of high APR, you know, um, you know, high, high, high risk, high reward thing so fast. All right. And then uh, the World Health Organization had to just debunk it and say, we have not found a cure. This thing is unconfirmed. Uh, they they stop short of outright saying it does not work, all right? Because they probably want to make sure. Well, you know, we want to make sure you know people don't panic and stuff. Um, that's that's kind of like the thing. I, I get. I'm kind of disappointed with in the uh, you know right wingers, right? It's like you know, there's like oh, we're all gonna die from the coronavirus. It's like, dude, like, can you like stop panic monitoring? Like a you know, I can't say the f word, right? It's like you know, what's wrong with you? You know, so. I mean, like, you may not like the left or the liberals, but at least they're doing the one correct thing, which is trying to calm people down, all right? Because if everyone panics, that doesn't help, all right? <laughs> you know, so you want to know why God curses conservatives with liberals? Well, there you go, all right? And when the liberals get too crazy, then God curses. Actually, I don't even think God's cursing uh, uh, people. It's just, like, just the way it is. Like, hey, you know, I designed this system. I mean, you know, the system says, well, you know, you do bad things. The opposite will deal with you. And when they get crazy, the other opposite will, you know, deal with them and on and on the cycle goes. You know, don't like the, you don't like the cycle, then maybe stop being a prick. <laughs> so, you know, sadly, most people don't realize that. So, anyway, uh, Bitcoin's at 97.73. It's up 3.29%. So, very nice. Very good. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, it's actually getting kind of warmer, too, right? At least winter-wise. So, once it gets warmer, you know, the virus should mostly be contained. Because again, you know, the warmer and drier it gets, or even just simply warmer, you know, it'll be a lot harder for the coronavirus to survive, right? And then, uh, and then we'll, and then we'll use that time between then and I guess fall when things get cold again to develop a vaccine at least. Litecoin is at seventy three, seventy two, so very solid. Uh, Bitcoin Cash and SV is up a little bit after you know jumping a whole lot, so very nice. Wow, so Bitcoin's almost at ten grand. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could have waited on BTC pop, and then and then buy the listing then. But I'm like, you know, well, let's just 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 do get it over with now, because I need to actually start selling my crypto for fiat. Uh, you know, I haven't deposited anything in my bank account for like what ten months now, eleven. Oh, it's been it's been a long ass time. Uh, my nose is running for some reason too. Three twenty seven point seven uh, eight. Yeah, so. A little under 328 million for market cap for dog coin, so this is looking pretty good and solid, so very nice. Also, I'm just hungry all of a sudden. Yeah, I, I ate quite a bit of carbs yesterday. Mm. Oh, excuse me. And I'm not quite sure how many calories I took in because I had halal cart, and then, you know, there's obviously no nutritional information, so, but it's just chi so I just mostly eat the chicken, the salad, uh, and the lamb. And it's actually real. Well, and I can tell that they treated the animal humanely just by the way it tastes, right? I tried the other halal carts and it just feels like they not only butchered the poor animal and treated it like crap, but like, you know, they, it was processed too much or something. So like, it, it just, it's, it's just like, what am I eating? Am I even, is, is the so-called meat that I'm eating actually real meat? <laughs> so steam is actually up a lot. 20.30 cents apparently it was up even more before coming down a little bit so that's why it's got a nice little hook 
pattern on the price. So basically, if we look at here the overall crypto. Yeah, so basically overall the crypto markets are up a lot. So so thank God, you know, you know, he's answered my prayers. Is like, hey, can we have like another bigger bull market? You know, it's like, you know, it's like just. Can, can we just make people stop being afraid? It's like, yeah, all right, you know, it's like, why not? <laughs> so, no, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, so I, I think that's the correct way to pray, right? Because if it does not happen, it's like, well, all right, maybe it wasn't meant to happen, right? Because remember, God has a certain set of rules in this universe, so he's not going to break from that no matter what. All right? He seems pretty adamant about it. So I, that's kind of the reason why like people are like, well, I wish God would give me this, and then he didn't give it to me, so it must be God's fault, right? It's like, well, that's the thing, right? A, you don't know the whole situation. B, you know, it's not just about you, 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 you. Three, what if what you want actually is to harm a lot of other people? Of course God's not going to give you that, right? You know, so, you know, there, there's limitations, not because of God, but because of, you know, you, all right? And uh, that's what a lot of people have to uh, realize. All right, so Ken is up 5% about, eh, no options. Uh, actually, Ken, actually, I think I'll just do this, just set it to the options page, so that way I just don't have to worry about it. So, yeah, so it's up that the stock markets itself is actually neutral. Yeah, I mean, it's probably taking a pause because, like, this week so far, the stock markets have just gone straight up while the crypto markets went down a little bit before going up a lot. So, yeah, so now money is flowing from the equity markets back into cryptocurrency. So, I mean, this, what, what this tells me is that despite the fe corona fears and other black swan events, the markets, investors in general, just want to buy stuff. They want to buy assets they want to buy equities they want to buy stocks securities they want to buy cryptocurrency they want to buy everything so that's good that means more money coming into this uh thing uh let's see okay oh yeah so i contacted cracks they said they need the wallet explorer backup i you know did the whole thing i tweeted and whatever uh my main concern is i don't want them to think we've abandoned the project so everything's all squared away. In fact, uh, Mitch did actually fix the block explorer last Saturday. The problem is, uh, for some reason, it's just sinking very slowly, but it is sinking. Um, I mean, sink as an S-Y-N-C, not sink as in the ship is sinking and we're, we're, it's all over kind of thing. All right, we're, we're not the Titanic. Uh, not yet, at least. So, uh, so yeah, so it's going to take five days. So, you know, and Mitch has some issues he still needs to deal with. So, uh, you know, but he said there is a new version of the stupid Explorer that we're using. Uh, thank God. Right. So hopefully it should have addressed all these stupid problems. I mean, the software is pretty old. It's like, what, two to four years old, maybe even older. So, uh, yeah, it's time for an upgrade. But anyway, uh, JMC is up to three to four. Uh, so because nobody can dump their JMC coin, the only thing we can go is up for now. So it's uh, it's pretty hilarious. Um, I guess Crex has decided not to tweet it out either, or, or link it on the page, because I already put the tweet out for them as a reference, so, alright, you know, whatever, uh, what they, whatever they think is best, right? Uh, oh, so 404 coin has finally done something, uh, 10 to 11, yeah, a lot of, so what, I, so I, I was waiting to see when this would happen, it happened sometime yesterday, right, the big buyers come in and, and start creating, um, I think it's called a price floor for 404 coin. And it currently is at 8 to 9. Um, so right now it's selling for 10 to 11. This is going to be a while. My order is somewhere stuck in this 11 sub Satoshi thing. Uh, so, but it's good because now the buying pressure is starting to finally overcome the stupid dumping pressure on 404. Um, but I mean, you know, we might have to get used to the idea that it's going to stay like this for pretty much forever. Uh, even if I come out with the game, I get, I can only pick one cryptocurrency to start with, right? Because it's going to cost me 10,000 euros to, uh, you know, pay coinpayments.net to implement one of these cryptocurrencies. Because they're the ones that have to do all the back-end stuff, right? You know, uh, so, you know, if I'm going to pay that much and we're going to be taking in money, I actually need something that where the price is actually pretty stable, right? So that's why, you know, it's like, yeah, I'm going to have to do JMC coin. Right, because at least it's not at least the price isn't gonna fluctuate like crazy. You know, here it's like it went from thirty sub Satoshis to like ten in like two weeks. 
you know so but it also doesn't take much and then the other issue I have to worry about is the um, uh, the what you might call it the other issue I have to worry about is uh, supply because eventually the supply five ten years down the line is gonna reach like you know what five point two quintillion like it actually reaches the limit of the software's you know me uh, uh, memory variable um, so it's using a 64 or 128 bit integer or something actually it's 64 bit uh, max number 64 bit mm. is it Let's see that's million billion trillion quadrillion nine point two quintillion okay let's see what is there an 128 bit hmm I wonder if it's possible to convert the wallet into a 128 bit integer for the max supply so the thing doesn't crash uh I could see why using these kind of variables. See, now that I'm getting back into programming, this actually makes a little more sense to me. Because, because you might be thinking, well, why not just make all the numbers, you know, this large? Well, the reason why we don't do that is because this actually takes up a large amount of computer resources. So, because the way computers work is they have to pre-allocate this much memory and space to storing the to storing a number or variable this large. Right, so you know, storing a word like max, right? This has three characters, and you know, you dec and you turn it into like some really large fucking bit, right? One twenty-eight bit. I mean, usually bits are only working with numbers, but oh, let's mix it, right? Well, it's not actually three characters out of you know four or whatever, right? The computer is actually gonna go three characters out of one hundred twenty-eight bits, so it's gonna like store. So it's going to be taking up this much space. Yes, this max character, even though it actually is three characters, is actually storing up to whatever the hell this gigantic number is. That's a lot of wasted space and memory for something like this. Well, that, that's why programmers do it like that. Uh, me personally, my philosophy on life, I'll probably put a lot of... Uh, actually, one, God, this thing is so big. I, I would probably cap it at 64-bit or even 32-bits. But yeah, this is the max supply variable in the wallet, and then once it goes above this number, I mean, I don't know, does the whole thing stop working? So uh, yeah, I mean, we'll find out what the Sprouts Classic will, assuming that someone's even working on that anymore. Yeah, so I don't know, why did I go to that diatribe? But yeah, um, I mean, we'll see. I mean, I'm still kind of hoping it could breach through 11 and 12, but the dumpers are just having a field day. It's like there's just, there's just so much craziness going on. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. But for now, I know the buying pressure is finally starting to catch its breath and catching up with 404 coins. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, two by two coin uh, has uh, slowed down a little bit. Uh, it's at 95 to 96. Still doing pretty well. Notice that some people that are dumping uh, 404 are actually going into two by two because obviously it's more stable. So also it's uh, obviously a younger blockchain. So, uh, you know, the supply isn't out of control yet. It won't be for a while. I also have to remember that today's, you know, lifting weights day. You know, after uh, picking out a little bit yesterday, but I think I'm still, I still, I think I still lose weight from yesterday. It's just like, I only burn like a net negative of like, what, 100 calories. So it's not really a lot. I need to burn 3,500 calories a day approximately to lose one pound. So, you know, yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's the thing, because like I'm learning to program, and it's very mentally intensive. So whenever you, whenever that happens, your body really wants cra uh, uh, glucose and carbs because your brain can only accept glucose as fuel. That's why your body gets hungry when you do any mentally intensive tasks. Mentally intensive tasks, yeah. So it's like. Uh, yeah, that's also why you'll notice that a lot of programmers where I tend to get fat too, and it's not healthy. It, 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 it's a it's a difficult balancing act, but you know, at least you're, I'm aware of it, so I know how to deal with it. Kappa coins at forty twenty five satoshis of a dog coin approximately, and it goes up to forty eight seventy nine. So as always, it's just like blah, right? But at least you know, but at least it's still pretty stable. So you know, you know, I. I 
I appreciate how much money it uh, it makes. So I didn't really bother looking at it, so we'll just look at the headlines here. There's anything interesting, of course I comment on it. Bitcoin's uptrend is gathering pace as many altcoins are surging too. Yes, of course, everything's going up. Uh, so at least the Bitcoin predictor guy was right about one thing, if you even remember him. Uh, the altcoins will be leading it, the charge this time, and that's a good thing. Bitcoin price rises high since October. Uh, crypto researcher Hasu flags attack. They could break purge down mayhem to Bitcoin, so that's just, uh, you know, just more, uh, eh, just fear mongering. Justin Sun finally gets his four and a half million dollar dinner with Warren Buffett. Oh, that's very good. I completely didn't. I completely forgot about this. I don't need to read about it, but you know, hopefully Warren Buffett will uh, start dumping some of his billions into the crypto markets. You know, if he doesn't, at least if he gives his seal of approval, yeah, that'll be kind of nice. You know, we got more social proof of his value we could turn into. You know. Because, like, you know, it's like, ah, well, nobody likes you, right? So what's your value? Well, yeah, not a whole lot. But if 100 million people like whatever it is you said, it's nothing about its change. Well, all of a sudden, that thing that had no value suddenly is kind of valuable because everyone thinks it's valuable. It, like, it's it's literally magic, right? You kind of don't like that. That's how, that's how it works. But, well, you know, that's, that's how it goes with humans. Coronavirus proves Bitcoin value use case for good. Uh, well, all right, fine. Well, at least Forbes is, you know, saying nice things about Bitcoin. Because a lot of the time, they like to fearmonger it, too. Bitcoin startup Lightning Labs secures $10 million in funding. Jack Dorsey back Lightning Labs raises $10 million to build Visa Network for... Oh, okay. Well, I don't, I don't really want to give... All right, and then, okay, so... Well, actually, there are other things. What's up here? Uh, signs, Missoula scam, rare bull. Okay, so it's it, it's all bullshit. Okay, good. Jack Dorsey is funded his the CEO of Twitter. I guess the owner of Twitter. Ten million dollars to build a Visa network for Bitcoin. Huh. Look at this guy. He looks like I'm gonna fuck you in the ass. Kind of thing, or. <laughs> He definitely has a, I think it's called resting bitch face. I think that's what it's called, right? Where you're not actually angry, but you know, your normal facial expression just looks angry. So they call it resting bitch face. <laughs> that, that's funny. Lightning Labs co-founder Elizabeth Stark on stage at the Lightning Conference. Yeah, strong independent women. Bitcoin payment startup Lightning Labs has raised blah, 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 blah. They let companies and individuals spend Bitcoin as easily as traditional services, building on a seed round from Jack Dorsey's Twitter, uh, Robin Hood co-founder and Litecoin creator Charlie Lee. Oh, wow, they got some big, big name people here. Uh, include Howard Morgan, former global co-head of securities at Goldman Sachs. Uh, okay, so a bunch of name dropping here. In addition to the capital phase, capital raise, Lightning Labs today launched its first financial services product, Lightning Loop, to monetize the so-called Layer 2 technology that sits on top of. <clears throat> uh, okay, can you tell me what this company is actually doing? Uh, okay. All right, so basically everyone is just building on the Lightning Network. That's what it sounds like. And then Square, which is also owned by Jack Dorsey and Twitter, is also creating their own little developer kit, as it says here, to build on Lightning. So if I wanted to, like let's say I really wanted to accept Bitcoin, which I will not for now, uh, I would actually want to use the Lightning Network, right? And then I'll probably want to use this de developer kit so I don't have to do all this crazy coding on my own. I just simply just call the functions in this developer kit that Square, aka Twitter, aka Jack Dorsey, is writing for me, right? Why, like, I'm one guy. Why do I have to do all the hard work when I can just simply just piggyback off of, like, the smart computer programmers in uh, Silicon Valley, right? Now, as much as conservatives like to com complain about Silicon Valley, um, well, okay, well, you should definitely learn to code and then just take advantage of them, right? <laughs> it's like, that, that's how it works. You know, plus you also actually have a valuable skill that you could use to make money with, right? You know, or at minimum, just get a job with. So, 
uh, yeah, you know, and, and that's also why I'm getting into entertainment and video games. It's like, well, I don't like all this degenerate, far left wing communist bullshit. Well, okay, I'll do the same thing and then, you know, compete, you know. Uh, and then it says, oh, we don't like censorship. Well, yeah, we'll still complain about it in the government, but let's say that fails, which so far it has completely, because, you know, the Republican Party is 80% fake conservatives and they're in cahoots with the Democrat Party to censor everybody. Well, you know, we can create our, we can actually start building our own little internet network. And then with that, then we can start hijacking and co-opting the, uh, the far left's bullshit, right? You know, we, we do to them what they did to us, right? And round and round the cycle goes. Uh, if this new breed of crypto products hatches out uh, amount to a Visa payments network uh, without Visa as a gatekeeper, coin to Lightning Labs. Okay, we're building the Visa network for Bitcoin, but I think what is more probably is unlike Visa, anybody can build on top of it. Yeah, well, you're going to censor us. That's kind of like the thing I'm a little concerned about. I mean, I can't imagine that you would be able to, right? You know, because like if it's open source, well, you know, nothing you can do about it. Uh, okay, so they're building on the open source Lightning Network code base, a platform center of Visa Network, which sits atop a collection of banks and allows for instant payments. Unlike Visa, the Lightning Network consists of 11,000 nodes that anyone can run and relies on the underlying... Bitcoin network for its liquidity. Okay, since the launch of its, uh, for those of you who don't know, the Lightning Network also does, I think, something called, I think it does segregated witness, where basically it'll just simply settle all the transactions off chain. But then there's obviously a system in place to check that everything is 100% legitimate. And then they do all the things, they send all the money, and then they just simply tell Bitcoin, okay, here's all the transactions we did here, use, use as little space as possible. So it's launching the first test of the network. It uses real Bitcoin and 4,000 developers to start building on the technology. See, this is the other nice thing too. See, instead of me having to figure everything out, now I've got 4,000 programmers doing all the hard work and thinking for me. So all I have to do is just take their open source code and use it for my own purposes. Like as time goes on, computer programming becomes a lot easier. It's not like I was talking. I was just telling Mitch this too when I, you know, to talk to him about the JMC Explorer not working, right? I told him it's not like 20 years ago when I was doing C++ programming and I wanted to just take a hammer and smash everything, right? Metaphorically, of course, right? Because I was so tilted, right? Because I had to literally figure all this shit out on my own. So it was so hard. Now it's just so much easier. So like when I, because one thing I have to also look into is, uh, which I did yesterday, is. Yeah, I come across a bug and then all of that like anger and hate that I had programming from my past comes in, out instantly, right? But I'm aware that's obviously not good. So I actually had to, you know, Google how to not get frustrated programming bugs, right? And I actually read a couple articles. And then, you know, I only used that as like a base. And then I was like, I realized, yeah, and, you know, like, yeah, you know, let's, uh, let, let's see if I can take this info and like use God and help me out with this, right? As they say, God overcomes everything. It's like, well, that's good. Then he can easily overcome uh, my anger <laughs> when I get tilted by a computer programming bug. And yeah, I actually did come across a bug yesterday, which of course I also caused. Uh, and I was able to fix it. It's like, oh, okay. In fact, I created two bugs. One is I accidentally deleted the function call or method that I was supposed to have because in the tutorial, he was deleting the excess code. So when I did that step, I also accidentally deleted the important part of the code that I was supposed to keep, and I didn't know that. So I was like, I fixed that, and then I also called the wrong function, right? It was just like, I hit the create join button, but I was like, okay, it's not creating the room. Why is it not creating the room? And then, and then that's when I got really tilted, because I already tilted from before. Uh, and then I, uh, but I was able to quickly figure out, I was like, okay, just calm down a little bit. So we know there's something wrong with this button because everything comp uh, compiles correctly. So there's no errors. So that means I'm doing. So that means my code is being told to do something it's not supposed to do. I, I forgot what that kind of error is called because the syntax error is you just forgot a semicolon colon somewhere. You misspelled a word. But I forgot. But that's the kind of bug I was having. It's like okay, let me go into the method. Luckily, it's only one line of code. So I was like. Oh, because I copied and pasted it, and then I forgot to change the part I was supposed to change, which is dot create room. I wrote dot join room because I copied it from because I because I deleted the code, so I was like, oh, okay, so I got to copy and paste the join room code and then change it, but I forgot to change it. 
So then I changed it to create room, so it's calling the correct method. And then it was working perfectly, just like in the tutorial. So like, oh, okay, there you go. So it's like, yeah, you know, like I got really tilted. I shouldn't be tilted, right? So, I, so that's actually what I'm going to be working on more. <laughs> so, so that way I don't get a heart attack in like 10 years. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, okay. So a lot of people are using this. Uh, Bitfinex, which in 20 December, December 29th, started running its own lightning node. So that's good. Hmm. I shouldn't do that, but this this thing on my thumb is really irritating me, so I just want to like bite it off. Uh, Visa, on the other hand, transacted over. Let's see, the entire Bitcoin yield uh, total is about one seventy one billion, only thirty million, which actually moves on a daily basis. Visa, on the other hand, transacts an average of twenty two billion a day in twenty eighteen. In order to chip into that massive payments market, Stark says startups like hers need to build products that can handle more than Bitcoin 7 transactions per second. Yeah, that's why we have the Lightning Network. Uh, let's see, and then Stark believes a suite of financial service products built on top of the net Lightning Network will keep the company afloat. Well, I mean, their costs would be very low. Uh, what kind of products, though? Hmm. I don't know. I guess once I get advanced enough, I could actually look into taking advantage of the Lightning Network. Hmm. Excuse me. Publicly launched today, Lightning Loop is the company's first such paid product, trying tens of basis points per transaction, help companies store Bitcoin directly on the Lightning Network. The uh, Lightning Ads are a third party, take custody of crypto. Okay, so basically they're just a middleman. So they're a middle so they're a middleman company to use the Lightning Network in case it's too hard for you to use on your own. Um I don't know, there might be something that I'm missing here, but I would still just use Exalo or CoinPayments.net. They'll they'll just use it for me. <laughs> and then they just keep making their fees. Um but they said, like they said, there's also other products they're building out. So I guess we'll take a look. Oh my God. I didn't realize this article is really long. Um, all right. Yeah. Okay. I, I've, uh, I don't want to make this video any longer. Jeez. It's 37 minutes long already. All right. So let's, let's, uh, let's hurry this up. But yeah, uh, good, good for lightning labs. Uh, and it's only a $10 million uh, funding thing from all these rich billionaires. So, you know, it's like basically they're just depositing pennies. 500 million Bitcoin transactions processed since leading crypto's inception, blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, Bitcoin, wait, did I refresh this? This looks, oh, okay, no, okay. Bitcoin is fresh and will pay to get an early crypto titan camera, da, da, da. Yeah, I mean, that's why we're all here, right? So, yeah, you don't have to tell me you were preaching to the choir. Ripple launches global XRP pants at five, yeah. Bitcoin Tesla, the world's most significant disruptive tech says, I don't even heard of this guy. Um, oh, they've got some really good. Who comes up with these thumbnails? It's really impressive. Uh, strikes back after Mike Norgratz predicts XRP will underperform immensely. No, that's just retarded. I mean, that's kind of. I mean, I like Mike Norgratz for being a bull on Bitcoin and crypto in general, but yeah, this XRP has so much fundamental value, and they're actually actively doing stuff. So they'll be around. Like there are, they are also a, uh, from what I can tell, a centralized crypto payment solution. So if the big banks for some reason don't want to use their own crypto, they'll go with Ripple because it's the next best thing to just having a centralized coin. Because some companies and people want centralization. That's why you use XRP, right? Whereas probably most of you watching and myself, obviously, we want decentralized stuff, right? That's why we're in, uh, you know, JMC four hundred four. Uh, two by two, and of course, Litecoin, Bitcoin, and blah 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 blah. Visa Bitcoin releases Loop Beta, announced 10 million. Yeah, we already read that. Uh, great. I'm just curious, how much shorter was this article? Yeah, we could have read the same thing here. All right, well, we got a nice detailed thing. Uh, and of course, you would not have been able to possibly enjoy my little ramblings of wisdom. Uh, long to be wait. $100 million in Bitcoin long is about to be liquidated once crypto strategy. Well, this number is not that much, but eh, I don't know. And it sounds like stupid fear mongering. All right, let's get our, I, I, I really like this one. I mean, I liked a lot of them, but I, I'll, I'll go with this one. 
because this one goes on YouTube. So this color actually contrasts with the typical white background of YouTube. Unless some people are using dark mode, then well, oh well. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash the lemon factor BTC. Snatch that subscribe on the right hand side of the page, and then, uh, yeah, and then, I don't know, just just, uh, just subscribe. I'm going to have to come up with a new ending line now that we don't really care about the subscribe count. Uh, so let's see, or the subscribe button on the right hand side of this page, because why not, All right? Well, well, we'll do, we'll take the lazy persuasion thing and just throw in the word because, and then someday I'll, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, think of something. Uh, or actually, maybe something does come up, you know. So anyway, I'm honestly done for the day. So enjoy the rest of your day or night. Uh, this video will be a little longer, but uh, I am pretty happy that BitChute so far has been really good. Like, their processing time is about just as good as YouTube now. So. Oh, which is a shame, because I would love to go back to doing political stuff. But, I don't know, maybe we'll uh, we'll have to chill on that and, you know, just let, uh, the, let the Groiper Uprising do the heavy lifting on that, right? You know, so I, I, I remain, like, the the kind of, like, background guy. You know, at least until, like, my game and show, you know, come out. So, uh, oh, yeah, so I think before we could end it... Uh, Let's see, Ray Tarkov YouTube. So the guys who make Escape from Tarkov, uh, let's do, yeah, I guess we do this one. All right, so the guys who make, uh, they are called Battle State Games, you know, like they make Escape from Tarkov and then they're actually creating like pretty high quality, uh, you know, act, it's mostly an action TV show, right? Um, you know, and they have like really cool shit. You know, the 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 special effects are actually pretty good. In fact, I'm actually thinking it might actually be real. But what they do, I don't know what it's called, but they uh, combine the frames of like separate takes and combine it into one frame, so it looks like they're actually having a real firefight. Uh, the only reason why I don't want to play it is because of the. Um, the copyright issue but you can see like the bullet ricochets the dust and all that it you know it's really well done so basically i, I have to basically create something similar uh, if i don't go the lazier route which i'm really considering which is animation uh that would solve a lot of other practical problems because if i get real life actors you know some of them are just going to become wicked and greedy and evil because, you know, Satan and sin are tempting them. It's like, well, I want more money. I want more fame. Like, I'm already giving you a lot. Like, well, I don't care. I'm going to join the union and fuck you. Yeah, and then, you know, they leave in the middle of the story of his character not being complete. So, uh, you know, it really met, then you, the same character is portrayed by like 50 different people. It's going to really mess up your immersion of the film, right? Imagine if you were watching Star Wars and Luke Skywalker was played by Mark Hamill in episode four, and then Empire Strikes Back was some different white dude, and then, I don't know, fucking, who was famous white dude in like 19, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, like it wouldn't make sense, of course, but you get the idea, it's like, okay, it, it completely ruins everything, uh, so, you know, so, like, that's actually the main problem that I'm going to have, so I have to kind of figure something out with that uh but yeah but you know we'll uh you know we'll see you know we'll, we'll uh you know I'll, I'll i'll think of something or maybe i won't actually i don't know um because i really don't want to modify my story where everyone kind of dies because i don't like that either i like some sort of consistency so i don't know uh we'll have to see we'll have to see uh so anyway enjoy the rest of your day or night i will see you all tomorrow's videos and i need to go work out and eat all right thanks Judson Chan, GMC coin, 404 coin. So for now, continue enjoying this bull run. Uh, the invest, the rich people just want to dump money into all the markets, you know, cryptocurrencies and non-cryptocurrencies. So this bull run is just going uh, berserk, and that's what we want. The higher, the better. Um, and then 404 coin is always showing signs of recovery, but I mean... I don't know. I think the these low prices are going to be here for quite some time. I mean, by the time I do come out with the game and it's got some kind of working prototype, right? And then and then it's going to need some time after that. You know, I don't know. Like, what's going to happen with this coin, right? We're obviously going to still support it, but 
hoping this thing can at least you know stabilize or ideally maybe go up when everything else goes up you know this is like you know because a it doesn't make sense and b it's very not it's quite unfair so it's like i don't know i don't know but um yeah but everything else you know everything else is stabilizing increasing slightly in price or whatever so uh here's our thumbnail